Here in Israel, there's a great sense of relief that Al Jazeera has decided not to air the very graphic video of Mohammed Mero's shooting spree in Toulouse. Mero's four Jewish victims, including three very young children, were buried here last week, and the families were horrified by the thought of gruesome images of their loved ones' last moments being broadcast to the world. Now, Al Jazeera says that the video did not meet its, quote, code of ethics and that it had little journalistic value. That's a shift and a switch in position for Al Jazeera, which has come under a lot of criticism for putting very bloody and terrifying videos on the air provided by Al Qaeda and other militant groups. Many officials here in Jerusalem suspect that French President Nicolas Sarkozy's close relationship with the owner of Al Jazeera, the Emir of Qatar, played a major role in the decision to keep this video off the airwaves. In this region, Al Jazeera usually takes every opportunity to show bloody pictures of Palestinians and Israelis in the ongoing conflict and has largely ignored criticism of its journalistic standards. Only a few French officials and Al Jazeera executives have watched Mohamed Mero's video, which police believe came from a camera Mero strapped to his chest during the killings. By all reports, the nearly 25-minute edited video is extremely gruesome and disturbing. It reportedly shows Mero shooting his victims at close range in the head and captures their cries of pain. The voice of Mara himself is also heard. Edited into the background are also Islamic religious chants, Quranic verses, and music. A note sent with the video in poorly written French claimed the attacks were linked to Al Qaeda. The video was mailed to Al Jazeera's office while Mara was under police lockdown in his apartment, leading investigators to believe an accomplice may be involved. Al Jazeera has promised not to give out the Mohammed Mara video to other news organizations, and it says it's already denied a number of requests. But here in Israel, there are still fears that the video will somehow get leaked and find its way onto jihadi websites. That could pose a security risk here. Now that we know Mara visited the West Bank in 2010, his video could inspire copycat terrorist attacks on Israelis. Jordana Miller, JN1, Jerusalem.